Do you want to feel like you're on a luxury safari vacation and not even leave your fifth wheel? Oh, Ryan, I'm in here, buddy. I'm up in the master suite. Does this not look like the most opulent Serengeti safari getaway? If you want to be Tarzan and or Jane and go on a safari inside your fifth wheel, <laughs> Let me tell you, this one is it. For almost 50 years, Crossroads has become a household name with the Cameo line because of the luxurious fifth wheels that they've been producing. And this is a brand spanking new floor plan for 24. Welcome to the 4051 BH. And the decor in this just to me screamed safari. Just from the bedspread with the zebra stripes to the wicker themed and inspired inlays that we're gonna have and you're gonna see all the way around this coach, including live edge, raw wood looking furniture. So Ryan, actually, since we're here, why don't we start right here? Now I am in the front cap. This is a full profile fifth wheel, 14,000 pounds, and you're looking at 44 feet long, can sleep six easily, maybe more if you change up the configuration. Now this is a 50 amp coach, so you have two 15K BTU ACs, but you also have an electric fireplace right here. So if you wanted to cut on the fireplace, all you'd have to do is flip the switch over to fireplace and now I can cut on my electric fireplace. Or if you wanted to go to the AC, you flip it down to the AC. I like this feature because it's a protection. It keeps you from tripping that circuit breaker. Got your controls right there, 110 outlet, as well as a dimmer switch for the lights if you want to set the mood and dual USB charging. Windows with the cloth wood balances. And up front, I mean, they gave you really good storage space with two wards, one being washer dryer prepped with two outlets and an outlet for a dryer, out, outlet for washer. But look at the solid door that we have there. Once again, just a, a very high end safari getaway at like an opulent resort. That's just how I feel when I'm in here. Got the live edge on my mirrored walk in closet here storage underneath and then open air storage there as well as 110 and ward bar king size bed nestled in the slide that has a stair step uh it's, it's actually like a little double slide um i like that because it looks cool but more importantly it actually gives you more space because the slide when it goes out would, would end right here having the double slide now you got the king section in there got the storage shelf for your books your cell phones as well as usb charging and emergency exit nightstand over there with cubby space and once again that live edge and of course got storage underneath bada bing bada boom which is accessible from the basement which i'll show you once we get outside uh insignia tv here with the key tv multi-source connection uh, and with the second ac that you have in here you also have the blade distribution system uh, and you are set up for the wine guard boosted signal it's a great service to get i'm going to walk into the pass-through bathroom so that you can see this tell me this does not scream bright serengeti high-end five diamond resort from the beautiful shaker style cabinets here with the inlays the matte black pulls the hideaway hinges that we have on our linen storage the high-rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush the storage underneath my double vanity pressed surface countertop here with the awesome, gorgeous octagon. Well, let's see now, how many sides is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be a sep se septagon? Hex. Hexagon. Hex is not six, Ryan. I took math one, I know. Hideaway hinges, double medicine cabinet. Yes, it is a hexagon, by the way. Uh, and single piece fiberglass shower with glass enclosure. What's important about single piece? Water. If you have multiple lines, you're, you're gonna get possible leakage. Having the single piece, you're not. But it is a step-in, just spa-like shower with the adjustable soap dish and the oversized multifunction shower head. Skylight inlay there, plus max vent fan uh, if you wanna move some of the hot air out, and tankless water heater. Come on down, Ryan. I wanna show the command center that's right here in the hallway. Storage here, kind of mudroom storage, if you will. But you got pre-wired 
For generators, so it's pretty much like plug and play. Uh, you got your start here if you want it, open up your vent, run out your slides as well as your awnings. And I like how the rocker switches, the double awnings, we'll see those outside. Uh, you got that there, and then your tank heater here. Also your convenience center, you can cut on your water pump, you can cut on your awning lights as well as your other lights, and check all the tank sizes. Now on this one, uh, you got dual 82s on your gray and your black, and 43 on your fresh. Beautiful mirror here in the front side, but Ryan, spin around and take a look at this kitchen and living area. Now the 4051BH is a bunkhouse, and I'm saving that for last. I wanted you to see what the master suite looked like first because that was so impressive to me. It, it does, th doesn't this theme, look at the like basket hanging lights that we have here and the kind of sack burlap style, which is high end, it's modern. Uh, that we have inlaid here in the light holder, but also in the island kitchen. It just looks like, once again, you're on a four-star resort that's doing a Serengeti getaway. Solid surface countertop here on my island kitchen. Got GFCI outlet here. Stainless steel undermounted sink with the apron, as well as my sprayer there. I like the dark with the light, and of course, tons of storage solid construction these are heavy doors uh, they feel solid they don't feel like they're going to walk around trash can spot and full extension on the drawer guides you even have the applique in here finishing it off for your cook space 30 inch microwave smoked glass inlays in my cabinets here hideaway hinges once again solid surface countertop light controls and you'll notice uh, some of the outlets have a lightning bolt on them. That means they're inverted outlets. Uh, solar panel, 2000 watt inverter, because you have a residential fridge, which I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Look at the glass cover here, 20 inch oven. Got a little storage drawer down there. And pull out shelves right here. And for your fridge, this one blew me away because I haven't seen it yet. This is the Norcold DC-20. It is a 20 cubic foot residential style fridge freezer combo with the multi-store down below. Big fan of that. I like the drawers that are in here, but more importantly, I really like these handles. Check this out. This I like. I'm used to like you grab the tops or you grab the bottoms, you know, you grab the sides. I like this right here, man. This is pretty cool. And of course your controls right here where you can set it to night mode where it'll run at half compressor power, uh, you know, change the settings for the freezer uh, as well as the fridge. More pantry space as we head over to the entertainment center. More smoked glass storage up top. There's our main 15K BTU AC in the ceiling. Uh, just beautiful, spacious. You're 44 feet long, 14,000 pounds dry with upgraded flooring, 35,000 BTU furnace here that's ducted. You're gonna have the key TV multi-source connection as well as color-coded wiring. Just well-built, awesome coach with a 50-inch ETV and oversized second fireplace. So 4,700 BTUs there, 4,700 BTUs there. Uh, I mean, great for knocking off the chill in the air, plus has those multi-flame settings and multi-light settings. Come over to my off-camp super slide. This is where the chill happens. This is where you get to enjoy it. I got dual USB charging, large panoramic windows, blackout shades, the windows open up giving me a great cross breeze, wood inlay for my LED lights. I got the recliners with the 10 inch console here that gives me massage and heat plus USB charging. And since you can sleep six in this one, you got the freestanding dinette in this current configuration with the additional leaf here. Uh, the high back chairs, it's, it's legless. You're not gonna be knocking your knees. But what I really liked was they gave us the bench seat. This to me is awesome because yes, you can remove it from the slide, use it as an ottoman if you want to, or just have it set out as like a little mini workstation uh, for the kids. It's just functional, it's comfortable, and it's great for the kids, the family, the dog, uh, whatever. Wood inlays with my LED lights. 
more storage as we make our way to the rear because the 4051 being a bunkhouse is a bunk loft. I call this the in-law suite or the playroom because you have the height of bed sofa here which you know extends out it's got the legs under there you could get two adults on it got the storage over here with ward space the tv backer is right here along the wall with your key tv connection and your power got your third ac in here um which is fantastic for a coach that's 44 feet long having three acs which is a very nice for having that fireplace switch in there um, so you don't break the uh, you don't flick the circuit breaker but this could be the game room this could be the office this because you got that ottoman in here you could put a table in here and up top how about a 54 by 74 max load 800 pound capacity bunk loft uh, with led lights more power you got the tv right here but also a half bath with corner storage mirror angled decorative vanity with that press surface countertop like what we had in the master and another vent and fan as well as separate entry point crossroads knows what they're doing and if you're the family that's looking to get out and get on the safari vacation guess what this is the one for you now let's go check out the outside come on i'm gonna go out this way Your safari luxury vacation is seated right here. On the outside of the brand new Crossroads RV, this is the Cameo 4051 BH. Up front, they have this aerodynamic front cap, which I think they were the industry first to put the automotive front cap on the fifth wheels. It's wrapped, it's got radiant foil barriers to help reflect the heat off of this. You got scare lights in the front, which I'm a big fan of, but I'm also a big fan of the Kurt Rotaflex pin box that we have on this fifth wheel. The rotating head here really absorbs the chucking and bucking while going down the road. And this is gonna give you a little bit more of a tighter turning radius too. The other thing I like, the hydraulic six point automatic leveling system, the battery box and the already set up gen box with strut supported arms. Those gas strut arms are so much nicer than holding a fifth wheel luggage door by a clip, it's just so nice. Gorgeous fiberglass. Look at the graphics on this. It even looks like it should be in the planes. Sealed safety windows all the way around with that 80% tent. Oversized awning here with marine grade speakers. Twin 30 pound LP tanks. You got heated pass through storage as well as the heated and enclosed underbelly on this one. LP quick connect right there. You also have an LP quick connect in the back. But the thing I think is pretty cool. These are for your water filtration system, which is set up on this unit right here. So along the basement storage, you get to see that aluminum superstructure. You get to see the finished off. You get to see your inverted outlet here because you already have pre-wiring for solar. Go ahead, slap it on if it doesn't already have it. Get your satellite cable TV connection is right there. And uh, the, the double slam luggage doors have the little safety latch on here. So you actually have to clip it to release it. Having that to me is super nice, especially when you or the kids are loading gear and you got the covered hinges to so no rust streaks on this one. Now also at the beginning, I think I may have mentioned that this RV, the 4051 had two ACs. It actually has three ACs. My son can count way better than me, I can't count. Solid step over steps leading me into the main entry point here with the oversized grab handle. Have our slide here, the kitchen slide. Second awning but take a look at those awesome tires that we have down there. Those are F series tires on the 7,000 pound axles with the CRE 3000 suspension. That is going to give you a nice, safer, smoother tow. As always, get tire pressure monitoring on any RV that you get. To give you some outside entertainment, the Cameo also gave you a TV under the awning because why not? and the little mini fridge with another cable connection here, as well as an inverted outlet. Just the luxurious features that are on this thing are absolutely outstanding. Tell you what, the beautiful design in this one to me makes the Cameo stand out because Crossroads has been doing it for almost 50 years. And this is a gorgeous coach, 44 feet. You're looking at 14,000 pounds, which is, you know, just a shade under 14,000 pounds. With this configuration, with the freestanding dinette, this one will easily sleep six. You swap out the recliners for another pullout, you can sleep eight in this one, no problem.
absolutely beautiful. And the best part about the Cameo, you can pick it up today at your local Camping World. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what did you like about the 4051BH? What did you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. Uh, and where would you take it? D do you pick up on what I was saying about the whole, it looks like you're on a safari. It, it, it looks like it should be like a four star diamond resort type of feel on the inside. Cause that's just what it feels like to me. Let me know what it looks like to you and please click like, subscribe and notify. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Young. I'll see you soon.